What's going on guys and welcome back to the random video blog where every single Friday I Graham G.S. Matthews run down my rambling thoughts in the wrestling world, share a few stories, etc, etc. And today's topic is one I've wanted to talk about for a long time now but just never got around to it. My top 5 favorite wrestling video games of all time. Now you guys know I'm not the biggest gamer. Um, I used to be and... I only really played the Wii. I was a big Nintendo guy. Never really gotten a PlayStation or Xbox. And my brothers own an Xbox, uh, Xbox One. Never, I mean, I, I play it sometimes. And here's the thing. I've gotten all the recent WWE games. But I just haven't played them a ton. Either I just don't have the time or I have other things I want to do. Um, I'm still probably going to ask for WWE 2K18 because, like I said, I always get the games regardless as a Christmas gift. And I'll play it, you know, a few times and try to get into it. But nonetheless, um, I will play games when I have the time or when I want to um, on occasion. And specifically these five games. These five games are a fucking blast. And again, not my top five best wrestling video games, but rather my top five favorite wrestling video games. And some of these you might find yourself agreeing with anyway. So coming in at number five uh, was kind of a hard one to find because the top four I know were cemented from the get-go. Finding my fifth favorite wrestling video game was kind of a was a bit of a tough one because there's a lot of good ones. Um, SmackDown vs. Raw 08 2008 was a good game. The first ever wrestling video game I ever played. Um, I got it soon after I started watching wrestling in the spring of 2008 and it was a good game. There's a lot of things I wouldn't go back and play about it. It's more nostalgia of anything. Um, but of all the recent WWE games that have come out in the last 10 years... This was probably my favorite, WWE 13, um, and probably the last WWE game I played uh, religiously for a long time on the Wii. And again, I've gotten all the games for the Wii, and I think that was the last game to be released for the Wii before they discontinued the games, which is probably why I haven't played a lot of the recent games, um, just because I, I don't have an Xbox for myself, a lot like my brothers do, and I'm just not all that familiar with the controls and whatever. But WWE 13, I thought, was a really good game. Again, it came after the SmackDown vs. Raw title was abolished. But you had CM Punk on the cover. CM Punk was the cover boy for that video game. And it was all about the Attitude Era. Although the storyline was great. And you follow certain Attitude Era legends. Including Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mankind. And so on and so forth. Throughout the Attitude Era. And you get to relive these certain and cool moments. And unlock certain superstars. I think that was the game with Mike Tyson in it. If I'm not mistaken. Um, but I thought the storyline was cool. They don't have GM mode, obviously. Um, they do have the create a storyline mode, which I used to play for endless hours that summer in the summer of 2013. Again, probably the last summer I would play a wrestling video game re religiously, um, as they had done for many, many years in 2008, 2009, 2010, so on and so forth. But yeah, I thought WWE 13 was a really, really good game. I don't, I haven't played it in years and I don't play it to this day. Um, but it was probably the last WWE video game I played quite a bit continuously for a long time. So I thought that was a great game as well. Um, coming in at number four, WWE All-Stars. Now I talked about this on a recent installment of Hashtag Ask GSM. I, I got to give a shout out to my boy Emmanuel A for asking that question on Hashtag a few weeks ago. But yeah, WWE All-Stars is a very good wrestling game. Very underrated in my personal opinion. Now, I also owned Legends of WrestleMania. I didn't play that game so much as I watched my brother play it, and I don't think anyone's clamoring for that game uh, to be brought back or played or whatever. It was not the greatest game, Legends of WrestleMania. This was a lot like that, but it was a lot cooler because you could play from members of the active roster and from back in the day. So you have the Warrior in it, Randy Savage, Hulk Hogan. And the cool thing about that game was that it kind of brought Warrior and Savage, guys like that, back into the fold. Because by that point, they had not been in wrestling video games, in WWE video games rather, in a long ass time. Because they were not on good terms with the company. But I think Randy Savage had done like a fucking commercial for the game. Uh, promoting WWE All-Stars. And it was right before he died. It came out in early 2011. He died in May of 2011. So I really liked that game when it first came out. I also talked about it in Hashtag. But um, when I went to college a few years later, that was one of the games that brought with me. In the story mode where you would do Fantasy Warfare and... Pit yourself either as a current superstar or a former legend against, you know, the opposite. Uh, the video package they would put together, like for Sheamus versus the Ultimate Warrior, people that I would room with, you know, people on my floor in, in my uh, freshman year of college would come in and watch me watch uh, play the game, and they fucking loved it. Even more so the video packages than the matches themselves. They loved the video packages that were put together for these 
fantasy warfare matches and i thought they were really well done and the exhibition mode and i thought was great was excellent and yeah i really enjoyed the game you get to unlock certain characters obviously and wrestlers and there's dlc i had it for the wii so i didn't have the dlc component of it um but you can unlock certain attires and stuff like that it was a really cool game i thoroughly enjoyed it and again one of the more underrated games to be released in the last five six seven eight years uh, moving right along here to number three wcw versus nwo revenge now we're going all the way back to playstation not playstation excuse me we're going we're getting to that soon enough we're going all the way back to nintendo 64 so this is going back at least 20 years if not you know closer to 15 16 17 years now uh this was a great game now this is one of the few wrestling games i used to play before i even became a wrestling fan in april of 2008 um i had tweeted out a while ago that on the anniversary of another n64 game wink wink i'll talk about it soon enough um that my grandma has a n64 and that's where i would play the game now it was never my grandmother's nintendo 64 it was one of my cousins one of my older cousins um and he just brought it over there for everyone to play like all the relatives all my cousins and, and stuff like that so uh, everyone loves playing not that game specifically though i have seen them play that from time to time um but my brother my younger brother and i would always play that game as kids we always thought it was the greatest game ever it was so much fun and then of course when i got into wrestling in 2008 i would recognize certain people like oh i know scott steiner i know hollywood hulk hogan i know kevin nash like all these certain guys and it became the it made the game much more fun for me even that much more fun than it was before knowing all the certain wrestlers on the roster and i would do like 40 man battle royales back in the day with my brother and we would try to outlast everyone before going one-on-one -on -one with each other it was a lot of fun you could take like weapons out from the crowd and again for an old system like the n64 it's a lot of fucking fun even more so than the games of today because there's an unlimited roster of people some people i don't even recognize um but the gameplay is very simple and it's a lot of damn fun coming in at number two is another n64 game and you're probably gonna be like why isn't this a number one and you'll see soon enough and you probably already know why it's not number one for any of you that have followed me for any length of time but coming in at number two is wwf no mercy that was released right around the same time as this uh the nwo wcw revenge game wwf no mercy is a fucking amazing game and i didn't say was i said is because this is another game that i st still continue to play them but this fucking day at my grandmother's house whenever whenever i'm over there it's so much damn fun to play with either my brother or other cousins and stuff like that because again it has a stacked roster from the attitude era it came out in like 99 2000 has a great intro video that dig diggity dog song that everyone knows is the um the gameplay music now we have all these great soundtracks which i've talked about be before here in the random video blog my favorite smackdown versus raw theme songs which you could talk about or uh you could check out from years ago here in the random video blog and that's all well and good we've had a lot of great songs for soundtracks for WWE video games but nothing will ever beat dig dig diggity dig diggity dog over and over and over again because it never gets fucking old I could hear that a million times over for endless hours and it would never get old to me that's how great that song is how classic of a tune that is for a wrestling video game but anyway the roster is stacked the gameplay is so simple never really played the story mode I found that to be a bit difficult my brother did anyway I kind of just watched him play it but the gameplay itself is so much fucking fun. It's so much fun. And you only get four wrestlers in a ring at a time, but you can do Iron Man matches, ladder matches, handicap matches, last man standing matches, special guest referee matches. It's like, holy shit, stuff you can't even do in some of the games today with people that you can't get in the games today. Like D'Lo Brown. Like, I love playing as D'Lo Brown. You got the Hardy Boys in there. And they were really the first uh, wrestling video game to introduce wrestling theme songs the wcw game did not have theme songs it would probably be number two if it did um but wwf no mercy did they did have theme songs they wouldn't have the full entrance you would just see the wrestlers come out halfway onto the ramp and then magically appear in the ring but it was such a great game and so simple so much fun but that leads me to number one which again a lot of you guys know already know what my number one is and why it's in my number one but WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Now, the gameplay is great. 
great roster. Uh, one of the last great rosters in a WWE video game. Now, of course, nowadays they have everyone under the sun in their video games. But back in the day, they were very selective. Especially with people that went to TNA or fucking left the company or whatever. Um, like Chris Benoit, his final WWE video game appearance on the same roster as guys like Kurt Angle and people like that. It's like, holy shit, what a roster. You definitely got to check out the roster when you get a chance. But Triple H, Batista, Randy Orton, The Undertaker, John Cena. And again, the last appearance for many people in the video game. Now, oh, it had a great roster too. It had CM Punk and Elijah Burke. MVP, Kenny Dykstra, uh, and the list goes on and on. But I thought 07 had a really good roster, good storyline mode where you get to unlock certain things and put together your locker room for shit like that. But how can you beat the GM mode? How can you beat general manager mode for SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 with a roster like that? It's amazing. John and I have been doing our GM mode consistently. Like, we've, we've played in the game for like 16, 17 years. Um... But on the, you know, in real time, we've only been playing since 2011. 2011 we've been playing this game for. And we don't see each other too much, uh, too often nowadays because he's at school and whatnot. And I've had school and other stuff like that too. But it's like, damn. Like, you can, we, we've gone on for years with this game and it never gets old because you just find new ways to book storylines and play matches and introduce that person or release that person. And the legends are great too. Mr. Perfect, Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart, Dusty Rhodes, uh, you got The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, all these other great superstars. Again, another great wrestling video game. If it's not your favorite, I don't blame you. But in my opinion, and again, 08 had GMO too. It just wasn't the same with ECW in there. And 06 was good, but you couldn't turn off certain things like injuries and shit, which I know kind of makes me a cheater. But if I won at it once without the injuries and shit on... Um, or with it on anyway, then I think I earn the, the right to turn it off if I want to. Um, but GM mode in that game is a hell of an entertaining game. It's a hell of an entertaining time and uh, just a lot of fun to play. So once again, my top five list. Coming in at number five, WWE 13 of my top five favorite wrestling video games. If you're tuning in late here, number four, we have WWE All-Stars. Number three, WCW versus NWO Revenge for N64. Coming in at number two, WWF No Mercy for the N64 as well. And coming in at number one, WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. So those are my top five favorite wrestling video games. What are yours? What do you want for Christmas? Do you want WWE 2K18? Do you want another wrestling video game I didn't list here? The TNA Impact game, I should mention, was fun for what it was as well. Very limiting. Good roster. Um, the storyline, the storyline mode, whatever, fucking sucked. Um, but some of the exhibition matches they had were pretty cool. So, honorable mention to TNA Impact, the game that was released about 10 years ago in late 07 08. So, anyway, guys, uh, would love to know what your top 5, top 10, top 20 favorite wrestling games are. Listen down below in the comment section or find me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash graham.gsm.matthews or just follow me on the Twitter machine and tweet me there at WrestleRant. We'll be back next Friday with another all new random video blog. Um, as of this recording, I should be at Northeast Wrestling tonight with Christian there, which I already talked about my experience meeting him a few a uh, few weeks ago at Comic Con. But um, if not Christian, there is uh, Ric Flair and a few other wrestlers I might be meeting tonight as well, and Corey Graves. So I might be talking about that experience next week right here on the Random Video Blog. So. All that being said, guys, have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the weekend. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.